All right, I'm back. I'm gonna give you another tutorial. And on this tutorial, we're gonna be designing on Photopea. If you don't know what Photopea is, it's basically a free Photoshop that you can use on your your browser. Yeah, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get our let's get our canvas. And we're gonna we're gonna make a a quick little grunge design, you know. And yeah, I'm gonna use three thousand by three thousand hundred DPI. I'm just name this tutorial. Create. There we go. We got our canvas. Now let's um. Yeah, let's get started. Yeah, I got all the images here that I'm gonna use for the design. Actually, this is the wand tool. I think that the the white background. Control D to deselect. I think that's a good, it's a good cut out. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, on Photopea you can use Control T because it'll open a tab. So you gotta do Control Alt T. Get the lasso tool. Just make the line, and then that. Put a layer mask on it. Okay, so you want to get exposure. You link. Can you link it? I don't think you can. Damn, you for real can't link it. Oh, that's lame. Let's put the exposure down. I'll sit down. Oh, you can link it. You can link it. All right. We gotta press this little button right here. So we just push her up a little bit. Okay. Invert the mask. Get a soft brush. Change the color to white. I hope I don't lose the progress for us. I'll be mad as fuck. Yeah, we're gonna add another exposure layer because we gotta add shadows um, behind the cross just so it looks realistic. What we're gonna do now that we add this around the lips. Get a gradient map. I don't even think it applied. Whatever. Yeah, that's cool. I don't care. And so we're gonna duplicate this one. Take out the layer mask. And then duplicate it again. Merge it. You don't have to do it. It's just that's just how I do it. But um. Okay, yeah, we got that. Control J. Control J two times. You gotta get this right or else your design will not look good. So I, ho I hope, I hope Photopea has all the, all the effects, all the filters that um, Photoshop has. I think they do. And I'm gonna use a different method for this one. We're gonna use retic reticulation and we're gonna add um, halftone pattern. So these are the settings, all right? I, I found it. Three and six for halftone pattern, seven, seven, five for reticulation. And we got it. Now we're just gonna apply the same effect to all of these. And then you can just add like the color right here. 
I think I might just do that, honestly. Yeah, I think I, I think I'm gonna just do that. Change of plans. Get our lasso tool. Get your bucket tool. Your paint bucket. Paint over it. Put multiply. Put a layer mask. Grab your brush. So I think for this one, I'm just gonna, um, since we can't apply a filter on the layer mask, I'm gonna have to um, just add like this frame that I downloaded. Yeah, that's our graphic right there. See, got all the details. Yeah, Tony, you know. You see it, you see it. In case you have a black shirt marker, but you don't have a white one. What you can do is control L. Okay, so you take your levels. And then you bring this one all the way over here. And move this one all the way. And there you go. Design on the mock up on in Photopea. Don't need Photoshop to make designs. Don't limit yourself, you know. There's plenty of resources out there for you to start creating designs and become a designer. So, yeah, that's, that's the end of the video. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, thank you guys for watching.